Hey guys, I am so excited because Tommy and I just flew to Boise, Idaho, here to Peterson's Stampede to buy a new vehicle. And what is that, Tommy? Well, we wanted to buy the cheapest new full-size truck on the market. Yep, and you know, we just bought a Hummer EV, which was very expensive. So we thought, let's go the exact opposite way. So I spent a month scouring the interwebs, trying to find the cheapest full-size four-wheel drive truck. And it is right here because we just bought it, Tommy. There it is. Yeah, the 2022 Ram 1500 Classic. This truck is incredibly cheap, at least relative to new truck prices today. And we'll tell you what we paid for it at the end of the video. What a magnificent beast, Tommy. It is, of course, a two-door regular bed configuration. So six foot four bed with the regular cab. And we wanted a four wheel drive because we live in Colorado and we would never sell a two wheel drive truck in a million years. So four wheel drive was definitely a must. Yeah. And of course, these are fleet trucks normally, so you can get other colors, but white is normally the color they come. Actually, they're three colors, Tommy. You can usually get these in either white, black, or silver. Now there's a bunch of other colors if you really want to custom order it, but we wanted one that was um, on its way to a dealership. And this truck just arrived here at Peterson Auto Group outside of Boise, Idaho. And we just took delivery of it. So we're gonna give you a full walk around of one of the most affordable full-size trucks in the land and show you what you get for your money. Yeah, we wanted to get a work truck, right? Because obviously people aren't using trucks like the Raptor or the Hummer EV or even the Tundra TRD that we had as a work truck. So we wanted to be in the forefront of affordable uh, vehicles. I gotta give a big shout out to Peterson's and to Andrew, our salesman. He made this process very easy. Now this did cost us a little bit more because obviously we had to fly here. So we spent about 500 bucks on plane tickets, but you know what? Now we get the road trip. How far, Tommy? Um, something like 850 miles back to uh, Boulder, Colorado. Now let's talk about the truck that we purchased here. So Ram has an interesting strategy. They build two different full-size trucks. They build the new one, which everybody knows, but they decided to keep building the classic alongside the newest generation as a more affordable option. Yeah, they said, well, we're gonna keep building it for a year and like a few years later, they're still building them. Now, if you were wanting to get this in a Chevy or a Ford, you could get it in a Chevy or a Ford, but it would be between two and $3,000 more expensive because they're only building the new generation. This is the previous generation. Now, I really, really, really wanted the cheapest one you could get, but pickings are still pretty slim out there, guys. We still have the results of the chip shortages and the supply chain shortages. So getting even a more entry-level truck was very difficult, let alone the cheapest. This is pretty close to the cheapest though, and we'll show you the sticker here in a second, but why don't you pop the hood? Yeah, as you guys know, you can get a Ram with two engine choices currently. Uh, there is the Monster Hemi V8, or there is this one, Tommy. <laughs> well, you say two. <laughs> But there's a lot more than two because you got to consider the e-torque variants of those engines, right? And then what about the diesel, the three liter diesel, which they just announced is being discontinued. But this truck is actually very attractive to me because it does not have the e-torque mild hybrid system. So the new 1500s do get it, but the classic is still running the old school 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. They sold well over a million of these engines. It makes 305 horsepower and 269 pound feet of torque. Yeah, dude, there's room for two more cylinders. Where's the Hemi? <laughs> Look at all the space in there. Now, the good thing about the Pentastar, of course, is that it's been in every, well, it used to be FCA, it's now Stellantis product over the years, right? So we're looking at everything from uh, the uh, minivan all the way to the Charger, Challenger, Twins, all the way to the Ram pickup. So this is a proven engine. I would say it's been in millions of vehicles at this point. Mm -hmm. And so while it doesn't have the, well, the sound of the Hemi, it does have a proven track record. Uh, and we will do a MPG loop driving back to Colorado from Boise to let you know what kind of fuel economy we're getting. And this one does not have the complexity either of the e-torque system, which is what I'm really excited about. So we're gonna be sure to do some long-term updates on the reliability of this truck, but why don't we show in the window sticker, show them what we got, and more importantly, what we didn't get. Now, we did uh, get a few options. Um, that's not because we ordered it. Uh, we couldn't order it. The order books for the 22s are closed right now. So that's why I scoured the entire country to actually find uh, one that was in the pipeline. Uh, and there is uh, the 
window sticker. sticker. Yeah. So you can see the base price with the V6 and four wheel drive, $37,000. You can get it more affordably if you get two wheel drive, of course. And then here are the options that this truck came equipped with. The Chrome Appearance Group, $695. Now that gives you a few things, primarily the bright front grill, the bright front bumper, the bright rear bumper, but more importantly, you get the alloy style wheels versus the steel wheels, which is a great touch. And what about the trailer tow group? That's a nice thing too. Yeah, 400, how much? Uh... 480, yep, and that gives you the receiver, the black tow mirrors. And, and look, this, no, look, look, it gives you this, Tommy. I know. <laughs> My dad's very excited about the that. The ears. Um, it also gives you the brake control, which Andre's gonna be stoked about. We got the power and remote entry group. Do you wanna show the key? I don't have the key. Or do I have the key? I think, um, I think you have the key. Do I? Yeah, I think I gave the key to you. because Maybe I, I do. I, I certainly don't have it. Oh, I do have a key. So let me show you what we mean. So yeah. you have, um, you know, remote entry. You can lock and unlock via the key. Look at this old style, by the way. Chrysler yeah. key. And look at this. Look at this. You can actually do yeah, this. It's got the little removable thing. Yeah, yep. it's got the removable key. And then this is a fantastic option. Um, we also have the popular equipment group, which gives us carpet, but Sirius XM. I'm a big Sirius XM fan for some reason. Um, so total price on this one, 41725 Fuel economy rating, 19 um, MPG combined, 16 city, 23 highway. And what's the towing capacity on this truck? Well, this, let's look at the numbers because it does have the tow group, but the numbers aren't grand. Well, yeah, it's, so, uh, so, it's pretty entry level. So it basically tows about 5,000 pounds. So you can see the GVWR on this truck is 6,300, which is great, um, of course, for tax reasons if you're running a business. And then the vehicle is, of course, made in Mexico. But let's show them the inside because this is a pretty entry level interior. Yeah, why don't you jump in and kind of give them a quick walk around? No. Yep, do you want to go for it? Well, the coolest thing, I think, is this little pocket right here. Yeah. I don't know what that's for. Really big cubby here yeah, on really the doors. Yeah, I like that. Um, now, what I like about these uh, 2022s is that they do give you some multi-tone accents, so it's not entirely a sea of black. And I really like especially the seats, how they have kind of this two-tone look with the cloth center in this gray with a textured material and then the black on the side. And look, there's a little cubby back here. Yeah, we got all of our stuff ready to go. We also have the carpeted rear... Uh, bulkhead here got some uh, hooks which you can hang stuff on which is fantastic now this one does of course have the carpet on the floor i probably in retrospect would have preferred the vinyl but that's okay and as we step inside a couple of things worth noting first of all plastic steering wheel right so a very basic steering wheel we also have the entry level of the audio system so we don't have any of the big fancy 8.4 inch screens none of that manual climate control but we do have air conditioning there's our trailer brake control with our tow haul mode but the big news about this truck which is the reason we bought it is not the rotary shifter but the fact that we have four-wheel drive so two high four high four low no rear diff lockers none of the off-road special groups this is still entry level and then look at this itty bitty tiny screen there in the middle of the gauge cluster that's looking pretty uh pretty 2010s. Now, if you're thinking that we paid 41,000, you'll be wrong and we'll tell you exactly how much we paid for this. Like I said, we bought this as I believe, and I did a lot of scouring, the cheapest four wheel drive full size truck you can buy. Here's the cool part, Tommy, check this out. Yep, you got the 40-20-40 split here, so you can have three in the front seat of this vehicle. A Little bit of a hump there for the, uh, the transmission and the drive shafts. The way God intended pickup trucks to be Tommy just like that and you got lots and lots of cubbies so you got this huge cubby here in front of the passenger you got a good size glove box you got that little cubby there to the right side of the vent now this vehicle <laughs> this generation of Ram truck has been around for what a decade or so it's been around a long time let's see what look at that more oh, cubbies oh look we even have USB ports yeah dual of wow, dual that, USBs. And, and I, I don't think we Tommy I hate to say it, but I don't think we have automatic headlights. Check it out. Uh, no, manual. Oh, we do have auto headlights. Uh, really? Yeah. Get out. We do have auto headlights. We also have cruise control, so everything you kind of need. Of course, windshield wipers. It's always good and in 2022. And we have controls on the uh, steering wheel, which is good. Uh, we don't have audio controls. We don't? No. Oh, no. Those buttons on the back are gone? No, no. Yeah, uh. so you have these. I don't know. I think these control that little center screen, if I recall. But look, we have uh, side airbags. Yep, we got side airbags. Yeah, front airbags. That's so I believe four airbags. That's good. And then as we come along to the rear, the other reason we got this truck is because it's a very cool configuration. So regular cab with the six foot four box. Now it kind of gives it a really fun little stubby look to it, right? Um, I and, love the look of it. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Uh, you think this is uh, dampened or not? No. No. no, it is not. It is also not bed line, so that's probably going to be something that we need to dive I think, into. I think that will be the first thing we have to do is we have to bed line it because but, we use these trucks as work trucks and you're going to scratch the... Chrome rear bumper with the plastic top here, a little bit of texture for your feet. And look. Yep, four pin and seven pin connector down there with the, uh, the, the hitch, the receiver down there. So four wheel drive badging. And then, yeah, what's nice about this truck is it's... Look, Peterson's gave us uh, complimentary mud flaps. How cool is that? Yeah. 
What's nice about this truck is yes, it is entry level, but it still doesn't look like the ultimate bait. So if you look at like this classic over here, right? That gray one, it has the uh, steel wheels and the black plastic bumpers. That one's a weird spec. That one actually is a V8 and it's got some other stuff. So it's a little bit more expensive. So ours is still cheaper, baby, but um, I think it's time we reveal how much we paid. All right, yeah, so um, the sticker was $41,000, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Peterson's gave us $2,500 off. Yep. And we got $1,800 in incentives. Yeah, so pretty good. So we're sitting at just under thirty-eight grand. About $37,800, which I believe is about as inexpensive. And I know the comments will be full of like, hey, I found this truck for less. But here's the thing, Tommy, just because it's advertised for less, doesn't mean you can buy it for less, as I found out in my search. Yeah, we got a lot of bait and switch trying to find these cheap trucks. A lot of them advertise, you call them up and be like, oh, it sold an hour ago. So, so it was a definite long process to get a hold of this vehicle. And we, we have the keys, so it is ours. Now, I have a question for you, Tommy, and this is one of the answers I want to kind of get at when we actually uh, do the videos for this, right? Yep. You know you can buy a Maverick for $37,000. Well, yeah, but it starts in the low 20s. Right, or you could certainly buy a mid-sized truck. Sure. Yeah. So is it, you know, are you smarter and better off buying a full-size truck or, you know, like behind you is a Gladiator, you know, which actually costs more. I bet you both these Gladiators, I'm sure, cost more. Well, this is a, uh, also we've got the, uh, that's a, the, that's a heavy the big duty. horn here, yeah, with the Cummins. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it's a full-size truck, Dad, but it's more of a three-quarter size truck. It kind of you know? straddles, you know, <laughs> the, the middle between the new compact truck, right, and the, the mid-size truck, but it's a full-size truck. So basically what you have is, is a full-size truck that costs the same as potentially a you mid-size know, mid or a very expensive compact truck, which I think is pretty cool because you've got a full-size truck here. Look at the size of that bed. It, it's sort of full-size. You can put a Maverick in the Look back of that Look how stubby thing. it is. It's like two feet from wheel to but wheel. But you know what's good about that? What? If we want to off-road it, it's yeah. going to have a really great breakover, and we can lift it, mm -hmm. and we can make it a little bit more off-road worthy. Well, but before we go and do any of that, we're going to turn it into a proper work truck. Yep, that's the plan. Yeah, we're going to put it through its paces. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of the chin for off-roading. But yeah. guys, let us know what you think of the little stubby truck. Yeah, we need a name for it. Yep, so leave us comments if you guys um, have any fun name ideas, but we're about to hit the road and start a road trip back to Colorado. Yeah, it says uh, 12 hours to get back. Yeah, and it's like 3 p.m., so we should get going. So one of the things we'll do in the next video is we're going to do an MPG loop uh, to see if indeed this is, you know, what the sticker says. So we'll see what kind of fuel economy we get. I think 19 combined is actually really good. Yep, we're about to find out, guys. Well... Should, I, should I do a should I do a rev? Should I start off for the first time? No. Oh, let's get the first. Don't don't do a rev though, because all the comments are gonna be like, that truck's not broken in. So all right, well let's just start off we'll for the first the startup, time. Yeah. First startup, okay? How about that? All you right, here we go. YouTube first startup. Comments are. Oh <laughs> you know what? I want to push a button. <laughs> you can't. You gotta use the key. I forgot. All right, here we go. Using the key. Here we are. Yep. Sounds great. Sounds like a 3.6. What's wrong with it? Sounds like a truck. Sounds like a 3.6. <laughs> Sounds like a Pedestar. All right. Hey, don't say sounds like a minivan. All right. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Ciao.